Hello everyone, Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW and this is episode 198 part 3 now with that said if any of you have missed anything from the previous two parts then please do me a favour and give them a watch now as you can see we are going to be kicking off part 3 of the show with a one on one match from the women's division and it will be Maria Jones representing the Broken Psychos going one on one with Kathy Cross representing the Iron Country Lasses now before we dive into the match action if you guys enjoy what you see then do leave a like for Mike leave any comments below and do feel free to subscribe if you are new now with that said, let's dive into the match action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Florida, Maria Jones. Making her way down to the ring first, representing the Broken Psychos, Maria Jones. Maria Jones. She knows tonight is going to Set be to do action here tonight. Set to battle with Kathy Cross. In the rematch of sorts from last week, after the Iron Country Lasses defeated the makeshift team of Maria Jones and Chloe. And her opponent representing the Iron Country Lasses, Kathy Cross. So yeah, Kathy Cross making her way to the ring next. And of course, was involved in the tag team match we spoke about last week. Kathy teamed up with Country Girl and they got the victory. And looking to get her only her third victory here in BUW. It has been a struggle. We talk about there have been struggles for some superstars. You know, Kathy Cross looking for a third win and only her second one on one win. And here we go, this match is underway. German suplex from Maria. Irish up in the corner. A drop kick. Short arm clothesline. Three short arm clotheslines from Maria. Oh, and the splash right on the back of Kathy Cross. There's the pin. And Kathy kicks out at two. Maria can't believe it. The counter from Kathy. Get some shots in. And a suplex. Kathy now stomping away at Maria Jones. Off the ropes. Tilt the well side slam. Rapid fire punches. Kathy Cross fired up. Oh, and Kathy gets blocked there by Maria. <laughs> Head 
head first, goes Maria. And a forearm right to the face. Flung off the ropes. Maria pulling herself back up. Transitioning into the tree of woe. Counter from Maria. And an elbow to the face. Maria into the cover. And a kick out at one. And Kathy rolling to the outside looking to regroup. Two pace to a cedar attempt. Kathy moves out the way. Now Kathy looking to take control once more. Get a foothold in the match. But Maria right back on the attack. Into the announce table goes Kathy. Oh, counter again from Kathy Cross. And Kathy sending Maria across ringside. Oh, look at the strength. A plant Maria into the mat. Northern Light Suplex. Maria sent into the announce table. Kathy talking smack to Maria. Maria sent across ringside. And look at this from Kathy. Very unique. Multiple headbutt strikes. Oh, and a counter from Maria. Maria caught. Snake eyes. Into the cover. And just like that, Kathy is victorious. Here is your winner, Kathy! Here is your winner, Kathy Cross. And is that the turning point in Kathy Cross's career? We will soon find out that answer. And that's back-to-back -back victories for Kathy Cross. And on to our next contest, ladies and gents. And this time it's a one-on-one -on -one contest from the men's division. And this one, it will be... Jesse representing the Broken Psychos and he's going to go one on one with the BUW Intercontinental Champion the Dominator Nathan Sanders representing Heavy Rain down to the ring first representing the broken psychos jesse jesse former three-time world champion has made his claim that he'll he'll do anything he can to get back to the main event scene And 
a victory over the current Intercontinental Champion will do just that. At least get him one step closer. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing. Yes, he is pretty much done it all in BUW. Apart from the World Championship, which he has won on three occasions, he's a former tag team champion, the first hardcore champion. And of course, let's not forget, he's also a former Intercontinental Champion, who he's facing tonight, the current Intercontinental Champion. His opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 370 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Dominator, Nathan Sanders. And his opponent, representing Heavy Rain, he is the BUW Intercontinental Champion, the Dominator. Nathan Sanders and Nathan Sanders since winning that Intercontinental Championship has been on one hell of a roll won the title at Summer Bash has already had a couple successful title defences defeating Jackson Oak and defeated Eddie Walker the, the previous champion And here we go, this match is underway. Oh, what a net breaker there. Nathan with a drop kick. Delivers an elbow drop. Right hand, down goes... Down goes Jesse. Jesse who a couple of weeks ago took on Nathan's tag team partner Stephen Rainmaker and was victorious. I guess you like to do the double over heavy rain. But Nathan Sanders has just been on a whole different level as we mentioned before. One count only. Fall away slam. And Jesse rolls to the outside, just hasn't had an answer. Nathan too powerful, too strong. Nathan with clubbing blows to Jesse. Oh, the chicken wing and face planting the former world champion. And Jesse getting targeted by the on the knee. There's anything that Jesse does try and throw at Nathan. Nathan's just been too quick, and that looked like the Judas effect from Nathan Sanders. Nathan setting Jesse up. Will we see it? The P-Town killer. And that will do it. And Jesse gets the shoulder up and look at the shock and dismay on Nathan's face. Nathan with the heel hook. Stretching and tearing all the ligaments in the leg. He's fighting 
It's just been one way traffic. Nathan Sanders has he just been unstoppable in this contest. Does Jesse still have a fighting chance? Elbow to the face. Rapid fire punches from the Intercontinental Champion. Nathan about to take a, a very rare high risk. He doesn't usually like heights. Flying shoulder tackle. Hooks the leg. And it is not over yet, folks. Nathan cannot believe he's not put Jesse away. A knee to the face. Jesse right now. He's on the receiving end of some punishment and greetings from Noble Park. That's it. And that is as dominating performance as you'll ever see. Jesse did not have a prayer tonight. Here is your winner, the Dominator, Nathan Sanders. Here is your winner, the BUW Intercontinental Champion, the Dominator, Nathan. Sanders and holy moly who's going to stop Nathan Sanders when he's in this sort of form unbelievable performance and what what happens to Jesse from here folks it's I have no idea anyway on to our next contest, folks, and there'll be a last bit of action from part three. And we're going to end part three with a number one contender's battle royal. And the winner of this number one contender's battle royal will get an opportunity at David Labby's YouTube Championship on the 200th live edition of BUW in just a couple of short weeks' time. So who's going to get there? Our participants look like thus. We have got the minion. We have got various militude. Mikey Wilkes. Felix. Hunter. Crazy Joker. Raven Nuts and finally Casey Hoyt Making his way down to the ring first, representing the Night Terrors, the Minion. What an opportunity for the Minion. 
will he be able to earn himself a YouTube championship match on the live 200th episode and I got Bloodfest next week the spook will definitely be up for some blood here tonight Way down to the ring next. Veris Militude. Veris Militude knows a thing or two about the YouTube Championship. He has held it three times before. Love to win it a, a fourth time in his career. Our first two entrants in this battle royal of two former world champions. Of course, Veris has been doing what he can to get back up the ladder, get back to the top of the mountain. He hasn't picked up too many wins recently, and this would go a long way in ensuring that. So Veris Militude's first title victory was for the Intercontinental Championship and has gone on to make great success since then, as we mentioned. There are plenty of championships. And here he comes. And from Buffalo, New York. Making his way down to the ring, representing Carnage Combat Club, Mikey Wilkes. And Mikey Wilkes, a man who is yet to win a singles championship in BUW. He is a former tag team champion alongside Joseph Conlin. One opportunity this could be for Mikey Wilkes if he can outlast the field. An opportunity to compete at the 200 live episode of BUW. That's going to be something. Making his way down to the ring next, representing Cadogan Club, Felix. And another young man who is yet to win singles gold. He's a former two-time tag champion. But of course, he's going to be facing a familiar foe in there. And I'm not talking about Mikey Wilkes. I'm talking about his father. The Minion, who is also in this match. Well, can you imagine if those two exchange blows? Or if it came down to them two in general? We are about to see something good. And from New 
New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 228 pounds, Hunter! Making his way down to the ring next, representing the experience, Hunter! Of all the championships that this man has won, YouTube title is one of one of the few titles that has eluded this young man. Hunter, another former world champion, the first United States champion, multiple-time global champion of. Former tag champion. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And from Kyoto, Japan. Making his way down to the ring next, representing the Broken Psychos, Crazy Joker. And the Crazy Joker who did win a Battle Royal to earn a title opportunity quite recently. Didn't win the title, but he's got another chance to get back to a championship match. And also, what sort of shape is Crazy Joker in after that Falls Count Anywhere matchup he had last week against the hardcore champion Keith Redfield? This is definitely one man you do not want to overlook. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career making performance here tonight. A little bit out there is Crazy Joker. So that title opportunity he had previously victory from the Battle Royal was for a chance at the Global Championship. He took Luke Razorblade to the limit. Just two more combatants to enter. And here comes one of our favorites. And from Leeds, England, weighing in at 252 pounds, the animal! This and coming down the aisle next, Raven Nut. Raven up to fall. Another former world champion about to enter the fray. He's been doing what he can to get back up the ladder. Raven, who held the world championship for 104 days, look, like I said, looking to earn another title opportunity here by winning this battle royal. And let's remember, folks, he was the winner of this year's Men's Ruthless Rumble match. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. It could be a lot of people's favourite to win this thing. Must wonder who David Labby wouldn't mind facing out of this slot. Here we go, guys. And here comes one big son of a bitch.
And last but not least, making his way down the ring, Casey Hoyt. And Casey Hoyt might feel aggrieved that he feels that he deserves an automatic number one contender spot after he pinned the YouTube champion last week. But instead, he's got to go through seven others to get that chance. He's, I'm just saying, he's got to be the overwhelming favourite. Who's going to get him over the top rope? And look at this. The battle royal's on the way. Raven taking down Casey. We've got Crazy Joker, Mikey Wilkes squaring off. Various Militude and Felix. I mean, this could be anyone's game. It's a battle royal after all. Doesn't matter who you are, as long as you can outlast the field. But I'm sure David Labby will be watching this closely. Oh, what a flying clothesline. Oh, and there goes Felix. He hangs on. Minion almost eliminated his own son. Oh, no. oh, Hunter lands on his feet. And this is total carnage. And Hoy, oh my God. Launches Hunter across the ring. Not just saying Casey Hoy is a favorite because of his size, but let's Remember it, folks, he's a two-time Ruthless Rumble match winner. Crazy Joker trying to eliminate Raven. Weren't going to happen. And the shots on the midsection. Batbreaker. Mikey's down. Suplex to Raven. eliminations as of yet dude buster dominion oh and a scoop slam I thought Case was going to launch Min uh, Raven out of the match now he's taking apart Mikey Wilkes oh he's just taking apart anyone there goes Felix Raven, oh sorry, Minion over the top lands on the apron. Oh, double team. What a combination. Crazy Joker and Casey Hoyt teaming together. Springboard missile drop kick. Felix over the top. Lands on the apron. He is the first one out. So he won't be Felix competing on the 200th episode gut check the Hoyt Varys Militude in trouble the only former YouTube champion in this match he is out of there Varys is out he's done we're down to six Mikey over the top still in not for long Raven takes him out We're down to five. Kinshasa the Raven. Five men left. And Casey. In center the corner. Minions down. Joker's the only one left. Standing, I suppose. But technically Casey is as well. Oh, Raven, he's over the top. 
Lines on the apron, he's out. Oh, wow. No, there goes Hoyt, he stays in. Hoyt is still in. But Raven, there's the story here, he's out. We are down to four. In case he's just standing there, was he chatting smack? Took too long, he's gone. No way. That will come back to Hoyt, Casey Hoyt. This is it, folks, the final three. Hit the lights. Down to the final three. Joker, Minion, Hunter. Minion's in dire trouble. Minion survives. Unbelievable. Hunter sent over the top, stays in. And back and forth now between Joker and Minion. And Minion still in this thing. Hunter still in. Joker's over. He's done. He's not going to repeat what he did a few weeks back. Hunter with the counter. Two former world champions left. Minion, Hunter, one of these two men will get the next YouTube title opportunity against David Labby on the 200th episode of BUW. Minion's over, he's hanging on. He's also busted open. Minion still in this thing. Hunter survives. Minion counters. And hit the lights. Hunter over. Still in this. South of heaven. Drop toe hold. Into the Hunter escape. Won't win Hunter the match. But it will inflict a lot of punishment to the minion. Minions over. Still in. Oh, uh, Hunter looking to finish it. He does. And Hunter is heading to episode 200 and gets a YouTube title match. Here is your winner, Hunter. Here is your winner and the number one contender to the BUW YouTube Championship, Hunter. Well, it could have been so much different for Hunter on several occasions. He nearly got eliminated. Perhaps he should have done by Casey Hoyt. But end of the day, it's Hunter that will challenge Labby in a few short weeks at episode 200 of BUW. What an incredible battle royal that was, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible stuff. So there we have it, folks. There we have it. Anyway... Time is up for part three on this week's show, but if you guys have enjoyed what you've seen, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike, leave any comments below, and do not forget to subscribe if you are new. But we're not done just yet, folks. we still got two more big matches still to come, including our next contest, where former BUW World Champion Taven Myers takes on 
Eddie Walker of the Night Terrors. And of course in our main event, we got a rematch from last week as the Dire Dynasty are looking to get revenge on Hellfire, but this time in a steel cage. You do not want to miss it. So until then, I will catch you all after this final break. <laughs> 